yeah, we had a, we pulled a sound pretty much within 10 minutes and we were ready to go. So with the zombies, we have um, one on each tom, 10, 12, 14 toms, and one on the 20-inch kick drum. And then we just had overheads for the cymbals and the snare. So when you um, hear the zombies solo through the mix, um, it gives you the fat low end that you need, but um, the overheads bring in the, the rest of the sound and combine and it gives you the full drum sound and it sounds great. Well, it really dominates the low end. So um, when you hear it soloed, you get the nice warm sound of the toms and the kick. And I, I'm a fan of moon gels, so the zombie acts as a moon gel. If you want it to be like that, it'll deaden the skin and get the sound that, that I like anyhow. So in a live situation, the zombies pick up the low end as they do in the studio and when you have overheads and all the mics on stage as well, it picks up the rest of the drums, like the audio spectrum. I've had great feedback from all of the audio engineers that have mixed me when I've used it on the kick drum. I have my bass drum skin fairly loose. And having the zombie, even though it has a bit of weight, it's you don't notice any different. There's no different feel for the kick pedal. And on the toms, the same thing. Um, it doesn't make the tom bounce any different. It feels the, the playing feel is is the same as if it wasn't there, which is what you want. So it's really quick to install the zombies. We, we had the drum set up in 10 minutes and then within another 10 minutes we had them stuck on the skins, um, uh, zip tied on, it's all neat, the, the leads just fit straight in, um, everything's like it's out of the way. They do um, sit on the skin but there's plenty of space for your stick to hit the skin, doesn't get in the way. It's the same as having a microphone close mic'd.